welcome to Guitars Over Ice Cream, and I'm delighted to have my friend Kirk Douglas, Captain Kirk Lloyd Douglas, right here. What's up, people? How you doing? Yay! So, uh, Kirk, somebody that uh, I'm a big fan of, personally and musically speaking. Likewise. Well, thank you. Uh, you know, I mean, I'm a fan of yours. I didn't mean to say I'm, I'm also a fan, a fan of, of myself. Well, you certainly should. Be. <laughs> But yeah, but you should be a fan of yourself. So. We should all be fans of ourselves. We should, ultimately. you know. Y'all yeah. need to work on that. Amen. 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 First lesson of the of the video right here. <laughs> so yeah, you know, Kirk, uh, from the roots, from uh, 100 Watt Heart, what kind of ice cream are we going to enjoy today? That's the question. Today's ice cream will be Ben and Jerry's The Tonight Dough. Yeah, uh, excellent choice. Yeah, um, I realize that I may be biased because I... Uh, work on the tonight show with the roots and jimmy fallon but i have to say even if i hated that show you gotta love this ice wow. cream that's um, right oh you want to try something look yeah, at that right. look at here all right yeah yeah uh we sure. got caramel and chocolate ice creams with chocolate cookie swirls and gobs of chocolate chip cookie dough and peanut butter cookie dough okay so Tell me what's wrong with that. Nothing. Not a damn thing. Nothing. Okay. The thing is, I love caramel and I love the chocolate. Um, so you got me there. And I'm, I'm a huge fan of, of uh, cookie dough. But the, I think the secret weapon in here is the uh, cookie swirls. Ah, uh, the cookie swirl. That's where it eats. Yeah. Goes. And the peanut butter cookie dough. I, I try to have it sparingly. You know, like I just... Got a container for myself a couple days ago. Yeah, but you don't but, want more than one or two of those a day. No, 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 no. I, I mean, I, I really try to like only buy it like maybe like once a month. All, all, all this said, all I mean, right. this is if this is here for the taking. I'm so glad. Well, well let's take it then. Let's let's try it. Can we please? Please. Now that's a good ice cream. Wow. I'm not gonna stop there. Though. Yeah, 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 yeah. And texturally, like that wow. cookie swirl thing. Oh my! It's kind of like yeah. I feel like the perfect flavor in my honest opinion. That's really something. What I do want you to do is flip over this card and share with everybody the guitar player you've selected to talk about. The guitar player I'm going to speak about is a. Uh, a cat that's relatively new on scene. His name is Mark Spear. Mark Spear. And uh, I probably should have written down the name of his band so we could have uh, seen it and said it. Well, we know it begins with a K. The man, name of the band is Krungbin. Krungbin. I believe it's K H R R U A N G. B I N. It means uh, airplane in. Thai. Oh, Thai. It's Thai. Thai. Uh, right. Why am I a fan of this guy's guitar playing? Well, do tell. The, the band itself is a three piece guitar, bass, drums. And the way he occupies the guitar space sonically is just. Um, it's just his playing is very atmospheric. Uh, it draws upon a lot of uh, world influences. He plays on flat wounds. Oh, does no. Yeah, yeah. And there's something about his playing that's just, it's its just so pleasing to the ear. It's... Um, I can attest to that. I, I took a little dive into uh, into the stuff. Uh, yeah. A couple of days. This is, there's a fluidity in his playing, and there's like a kind of a vocal quality to his playing. Yeah, and that's yeah. kind of like... I'm, I'm, I find myself drawn to uh, guitar players mm -hmm. that that kind of like have like a voice, yeah. you know, not unlike a singer. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I did, I, I checked out, you know, I did a deep dive of his uh, rig rundown and everything, and it just seems like he he's able to sort of act as like a live uh, studio engineer on his guitar sound, you know, yeah. in terms of effects in terms of equalization i love the way he uses like the um like reverb delay and sort of he sometimes has that sort of 
Wawa sound, but like the Wawa is on but not being right. It's wah. not being it's not being wad. Right. Um, it's like kind of in a cock position. Yeah. And it's sort of uh, I think that sort of adds to the vocal quality of it. But true, very atmospheric tone. It creates like this landscape or sp- like uh, with the sound. It just feels like you're. It feels like a place in time. Yeah. Yeah. Like, um, Absolutely. That's a great way to to put it. And it's just something about it's like he's it's. The sound is like, I mean, even though it can get sort of distorted, mm-hmm. there's like a a clarity to it yeah. simultaneously. Yeah. Um, it's clean, but little but with a little edge to it. But... Yeah, yeah. Like we, when 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 you dig in, you know, I, I love tones when like when you dig into it, you f- feel yeah. the the grit of it, and when you back off, you it's it's very dynamic. Yeah, yeah. I guess is what I'm saying. And uh, you know, his note choices, the yeah. way he plays his chords, the the and he sort of just he kind of moves in and out of that a lot from the chord to the single note stuff a yeah lot. Sort of, yeah yeah so he kept able yeah. to cover like a lot of ground yeah it's really great and he like because often he'll play along even with the single note stuff he's doing with just a bass yeah and, and drum just the rhythm section it's got a really full sound because it create it's open yeah and it's spacious but it's not incomplete and seeing them live especially like i mean mm-hmm. it's, it's such a it's its own experience because th- there's what I love about them is like there's their music is you could sort of you could totally focus on their records or you could totally have their records on at a dinner party right, and right. just have it as the, like the sonic uh, backdrop sure. for what's going on. And this, either way, it, it, it works great. Yeah, yeah. It's choose it. your adventure. But what's so cool about the live experience is because so many times I've had their music on in the background uh, that the songs, you sort of know them subliminally. Right. And then you go to see them live and it's like this shared experience because so many people experience yeah. them like that. So it's like a whole bunch of people that are gathered together. It's like, oh, I remember that song from being in the background, but I've <laughs> never been in a situation where I've been in a gathering of people focusing on a stage, hearing that stuff come at me loud out of a sound system. They, you know, they also go on extrapolations of their songs yeah. and they also do sort of like a they do like little medleys yeah and uh I remember one of the medleys i saw in one of their medleys i saw they did went into uh genius of love from tom tom club and and he was able to he he copped the harmonies from the lead vocal and it's like i i talked to him afterwards and uh, and i i was like you got those three part harmonies it's like actually it was just two it was just, but the notes that he was choosing gave the illusion of three. Ah. So really, uh, really, really clever. That is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyhow, that's, you know, you asked what my favorite guitar player at the moment is. And, uh, I'm really glad you, I'm glad you picked Mark Spear. I'm glad you picked somebody r- really current. They in turn turn you onto a whole bunch of, you know, you find out the people that have inspired and influenced him. Right inspired and influenced you know that band who are some of the people that inspired and influenced him i think um i kind of uh, remember seeing a couple names but uh, like er uh, ernie isley being one definitely yeah definitely ernie isley who's inspired uh, um Um, uh ali for ali farcatoris oh uh, oh yeah right they did an album with his son right uh view i'm 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 I'm, i hope i didn't butcher his name uh but i when i saw them together at a in Prospect Park over right. the summer, uh, Vera opened up, and um, and 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 Mark is you know very you know fanish of his playing, and of course I'm sure his his father as well. Yeah. Um, but just it's you could really go down a rabbit hole of of discovery, uh, finding out what inspired and what influenced him. You know, I love discovering who people listen to. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Think knowing where they came from is really fascinating. And, and, interesting and i think that you know being that i think you and i are both people that come from a diverse musical backgrounds as far mm. as our musical interests go mm. right and um which is reflect doesn't matter what kind of music you're playing all of that informs what you're doing it doesn't matter if you're playing country music having delved into like uh, east indian music is still going to reflect it in your yeah it's going to come through right? yeah, yeah having been a player myself has played in a lot of trios where it's like uh power trio right mm-hmm. you got to guitar bass drums you were taking filling up a lot of space yeah. doing a lot and then go, shifting to something like p-funk where you're one of 
five guitar <laughs> players. You're one of one nation. <laughs> yeah, right. One of one of many in a nation. Mm-hmm. You know, you think you you really think about your parts very differently, right? Oh like, yeah, yeah. You, you in in the in the roots. How do you? Because I mean, I know what you do in the roots guitar wise, and what you do, like say with your project Hundred Watt Heart, are very different because you kind of obviously, obviously you're creating um, music and you are dictating everything that's kind of happening there, right? As far as you know, um, with the roots, you're part of a thing, you're part of a whole, yeah, and, and you have a certain role in that group, right? Absolutely. Well, that's part of, part of the fun of the instrument, how you're able to do those things, yeah. <laughs> you're you're set up with uh, all these options, and you know, in a, a situation like the roots, you know, you you want to fit in musically and supportively and uh percussively too just uh mm. when there's so many elements going on you know i in, and in funk especially uh the guitar acts as another percussion instrument right so it's like the placement of your notes yeah. um but polyrhythmic often right? yeah like yeah so it's like it's I, I before the roots i didn't pay as close attention to uh what the drummer was doing and and how to fit in the quote unquote the pocket you know how to you know playing behind the beat playing on top of the beat yeah, playing yeah, uh, yeah. ahead of the beat like all like and the, the the push and the pull all the years of listening to all this music that we've absorbed you know that comes into play when you start playing with a band because you take you're just listening to a band yeah, yeah. except you have a guitar on and then you can sort of participate with what you're listening to. Right. So then you just you just get to the point where you're just like close your eyes and you're just playing what you want to hear from this band. Yeah, exactly. Except you like, you're in the band. Right. right. So you and and you and you, with the interplay with looking around and just looking at everybody's faces, you sort of that's sort of your barometer for if what you're doing yeah. is it or not exactly. <laughs> you know and if people if you get a look if you get a, like that look like something somebody smells something undesirable that's a good thing yeah, yeah. you know if you, then you, you know that you, cha- you need to change something well no well if you if you look like if you get the there's the well, there's, there's different kinds of stank faces okay. yeah. <laughs> there's, there's different... one of approval yeah there's one of disapproval <laughs> yeah. and then there's the one of what is that yeah 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 no but but just like <laughs> if you if I think I think the approval stink face. If you get a stink face and a he- and a head oh, yeah. nod, oh, then you, you get the you're... stink face and the head yeah, nod. Yeah, yeah, you're doing yeah. the right thing. If you just get a stink face, just a then no, no. But if you get a, <laughs> that's, that's what you good. want. That's what you want. <laughs> There's nothing more glorious than being like when you're with a bunch of guitar players and yeah. then you're all playing something. You're all looking at each other and you all find your part and you just sound like one oh, yeah. god awfully funky There's instrument. Nothing like that. Yeah, like that's yeah, satisfying. Yeah, yeah. So you, it, but in in the roots, when there's this one guitar player, you just try to find that with the other instruments that are there. In our case, mm-hmm. two keyboardists, you know, uh, a percussionist, or or uh, Stro Elliott, he plays the Ableton push, so it's kind That's of like right. a beat, uh, percussion on a, a beatbox type of thing. Oh yeah. Um, you got Questlove there too. We have a tuba as well, mm-hmm. and you have our bass. So it's just like you, we just we're all looking for that space to fit in. There's times when we're on the Tonight Show where he just like there's a glitch in the computer that gives us our cues, yeah. and we don't, and he'll just be like B flat, and then it'll just go into, <laughs> and then but the, after playing together for so long, it's amazing when you're just like. Yeah, that's all you got. You have a second to react. Yeah, but I mean, but all the years, of, well, you know, that's... it's just like you don't realize all the training that you've been yep, through yeah. without even realizing it. You played there with uh, Eric Burden, right? Yeah, I played the show with Eric Burden. I got to hang out with uh, you and the band. Yeah. In the little room. We yeah. rehearsed a couple of those tunes. Yeah. Most of my uh, recollection of that is uh, just being in the rehearsal room. Yeah. That's, that's my, yeah, that's our safe that's space. Yeah. I remember. Yeah. And then having a moment. Uh, you know, uh, I think we did a little photo op with with Mr. Fallon there. Right, 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 right. I had to do that. Right? Mm-hmm. You know. So yeah, that's that's that experience. And then with my own band with Hundred Watt Heart, you know, that's like you know, a, a kind of a traditional rock band because yeah. you know, as a guitar player, I'm a fan of the 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 music where the guitar takes up a lot of the real estate. Yeah, music that can be more 
you know, guitar centric. If you just if you love that sound, as so as you you music. like guitar. You you're a fan of guitar. I I, I would say I would say that. Me that, too. I really love that hundred watt um, hard stuff. Thank you, thank you very much. And that's you know that that's very much inspired by, the, you know, the, we just I just put out a new album, uh, new unknown, and that's you know inspired by you know the you know Parliament Funkadelic. Oh yeah. Uh, cool. Inspired by you know Pink Floyd. Inspired by Zeppelin. Inspired by Fela, inspired by you know Krungbin's an, an inspiration, yeah. um, you know the Black Crows coming from a lot of different places. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I noticed that it's nicely diverse in that way, but still cohesive. You know? Thank you. Yeah, and and just and and there's just many flavors mm -hmm. uh, of guitar, you know, of, sonically speaking. Yeah. Um, and uh, you know, just uh, melodic, psychedelic um rhythmic mm -hmm. you know um and and that's you know there's less you know there's there's some songs you know there's a song on the record we could be one that's like inspired by Phila Kuti, and that's got you know that's like just like 20 oh, yeah. tracks on that you know and that's <laughs> that's it, that's i had a great time you know trying to find the magic potion of of guitar parts to make yeah. a guitar uh a guitar line, many guitar lines sounding like one guitar line sounding like kind and of that's like such a part of the, a certain type of artistry in a playing like there's players but then there's also the you know putting together like um how you construct and put together parts yeah and and, the, and thinking a lot about the textural aspect yeah. of it and the sort of sonic landscape where you you're not just going out there to shred a solo and absolutely yeah yeah out. yeah you're, you're kind of also thinking in terms of like uh no, you're kind of like like a painter, you know. Right, right. Palette, you know, a lot of colors in the palette. Yeah, and that's a cool. lot of music I listen to uh, has that element in it, and uh, the and then there's the songs that are just like straight up three piece rock and roll. Yeah. And uh, I I love music like that, you know. So it's it's it kind of has those extremes on it, and yeah. and it's 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 even more fun to do a project like that when the rest of my time i'm involved in a situation like playing with the roots and it's you know more of a collaborative effort you know we're like a big yeah we're like it's not unlike p-funk really you know right, yeah. um no, people may have more members but like a similar still in the spirit i think it is still kind of uh, yeah yeah comes from that sort of uh it's coming from that place yeah. most definitely man it's been such a pleasure to talk to you thanks for coming and hanging out my and, pleasure uh, there's more ice cream in the back. We can go get some. But like, you know what? Why don't we uh, pick these up? I got this, the Angelico that I want to try out. Oh, wow. I haven't played this one yet. Um, we're going through this wall of sucrose right here. Yep, they're all <laughs> plugged in. Every last one of them. Yep. I blew off most of my hair, as you can see. <laughs> Ice cream. <laughs> that helps.
I second that. <laughs>